Here's my uh, 555 timer based uh, PWM generator circuit that I built. I've uh, been liking these sort of 3D freeform circuits uh, that I've been putting together. So, lay this out in Eagle uh, actually as a whatever layer design, kind of two layer, but I didn't worry about overlapping. Uh, and then I printed it out on one sheet, uh, double size up top, and then regular one to one down below the one way uh you know with all with the the traces the pads and uh you know components uh and then another one um it's all marked up now but with uh just the traces uh and I actually bent I pre-bent uh, a lot of traces which I, I didn't end up using cuz I, I wanted to use uh when possible uh, I really wanted to try to use the traces, uh, or rather the uh, the leads of the components, and I was able to do that um, a bunch on the bottom. Uh, but there aren't that many components to this, so. Uh, but the the potentiometer has a switch in it, so it was nice. So here we go. So it's hooked up to a 12 volt battery and a light strip. So if I turn it on. I don't know how to do this one hand. Uh, oh, there it is. And then if I, uh, I dial it up, it does get bright. It does seem to work. Um, so I don't know if I want to uh, I want to mount this thing, what I want to put it in. Um, but it seems to work pretty well. And I like the layout. I'll try other circuits like this. It seems easier than point-to-point -point soldering. Um, or trying to etch a single board. Honestly, I'd rather do this because you kind of can do however many layers you want. They can overlap in the design, and you know a lot of these wires kind of come close to each other. But if you're, you're kind of doing it one by one by hand, you, you fit them as you go, and you can make them go around. And it's not that big a deal. Um, but you're not actually constrained to a circuit board. So I don't know. What do I do with this now? Do I mount it to? piece of uh, acrylic. I don't know. Anyway, that's my board.